denizens of the internet. Welcome to the Gallant Horde. Today we are playing a glass slipper, which is going to be an interesting game. Bex is experimenting in fairy tales a little bit, just to see what happens. Um, before we go down that road, though, I want to welcome Caroline. Hi. Ooh, welcome to your wow. first Gallant Ooh. Horde mission ever. For those Thank of you who don't know, Caroline is Brandon's wife, and he has finally dragged her in to the Horde. I'm excited to see what you do. Um, we're also introducing Matt's new character, but Matt's been around a while, so you don't get quite the excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you've been here since almost the start. Um, <laughs> okay, before we start doing all those things, let's do our announcements. So our in-game item today, again, is from Level 1 Gamer's Deck of Useful Things. Um, it is called a Finity Glove. <laughs> and it's kind of entertaining. So if you would like to win yourself, well, your character, Affinity Glove, surprisingly hard to say, um, exclamation point shiny thing in the chat, and it will appear in your character's hut. If you are not a Gallon Horde member and you win it, you can still enter it and you win it. You can gift it to any Gallon Horde member you wish. Um, as always, we are doing our subscription drive for the month, 50 new or renewed subscriptions, and we do a Birds of a Feather game. So we currently have three on the books. Um, we will be doing Druids next Sunday, Wizards on the 25th of September, and then Paladins at some future point when we can fit it into our insane schedule, which is a bit bonkers at the moment. Um, so we have three of the base classes we haven't done yet, um, or haven't got coming up. So if you would like to see that happen, hit the subscribe button and join us do the thing. We also have a channel in our Discord called The Toasted Ogre where we um, Twitch subscribers get to vote on stuff and get to see behind the scenes things and whatnot. It's like a subscriber VIP room. Um, so do that thing. Also, if you hit our donate button underneath the stream, uh, all donations are currently going to upgrading Adam's computer. Um, so that he can do more cool streamy things with it because it is old and sluggy and needs some love. Um, so yeah, if you are a critter, we just opened signups for Critmas for this year. This is the panic Jack's face because that <laughs> takes a lot of time and energy out of my life, but it's awesome. Um, it is an international gift exchange uh, that I have run. This will be, I think, the sixth year that we've done it. Um, so if that's your jam, you should look it up. It's in our Discord also under Critter Gifting. Um, there are links in there. Go do the thing if you want to send someone some nice shit and get some nice shit in return. There are often some pretty insane, awesome gifts that happen as part of that whole process. Um, oh, the other thing is we will be releasing Garen's Level 15 interview before next week's game. So next week's <coughs> game is... Next week's Saturday game will be the second seal, Chaos and Ruin, which narratively has been coming for a very long time. It was the first seal we ever knew about. Well, the first seal the players ever knew about. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Garen's interview will happen just before that. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, I think that's all my announcements for today. So I will get these lovely people to introduce themselves and their characters to you. And I will roll our potion of resistance for the day. So we will start with Fernando. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hi, I'm yes, Fernando. I'm playing, <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Dontropova, a lizard folk, Elden slash warlock. Matt. Hello, my name is Matthew Smith, and I'll be playing a uh, Asimar fighter, named El Zaran. I was going to say Chuck, that's not your real name. Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, yes, I'm a ranger monk. Um, I'm uh, basically uh, just, yeah, sorry, um, yeah, and um, name's Trent, and I'll be playing a main a ranger monk uh, from Laguna and just joined the horde. So, a couple of uh, missions out. Thank you. Awesome. Caroline! Hi, I'm <laughs> Caroline. Uh, I am a human ranger rogue by the name of Quinn. Jamie! Hey, I'm Jamie, and I'll be playing uh, Gali Venture, the uh, epic punching mecha centaur. Amazing. And Chris? 
Uh, I'm Chris. I will be playing Catherus, who is an Earth Genasi Paladin fighter. Excellent. All right. Your potion of resistance for the day is resistance to acid. So if you are gifted a potion by the chat, you do need to tell me that you are taking it. But if you take it, you will be resistant to acid for the rest of the game. Um. All righty. I guess we shall do the thing. Is there anything any of you would like to do before you enter the throne room today? I don't believe so. I think I have <laughs> RP'd oh, my way there. You've, <laughs> you've <So>. all <laughs> gotten your many buffs and muffins and whatever else the people yep. have given you. We have several baskets worth of food. Many baked goods. <laughs> I've had to leave important equipment behind so I could take the baskets. <laughs> <laughs> I have several bags. It's not a problem. Sorry, guys. London doesn't have a weapon. This match is too busy carrying baked goods. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Why is my quiver full of muffins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the answer counts. to that question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you enter the throne room. The lady is wearing a dress that looks like a child's rendition of a tutu. It's like it's like a, a cute little bright pink. Um, somehow she still manages to make it look elegant because she's a fucking arch face, so she can do that. But um, yeah, it's it's like this awesome little pink dress with a little like tutu that goes goes down to her knees, um, and she says, "Ah, hello, adventurers! Uh, welcome. You're going on an unusual mission today. I believe one of you asked for an audience, but I I'm afraid we've been very busy this week. So if you have questions before you go, please, this would be the time to ask them." That would have been me, your majesty. I gathered questions from the team. I, I do apologize for not getting to you this week. It's been... It got away from me. Understandable. Reed, um, this is Jax's failing, not Titania's. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. So, first question. Are we operating officially as the Horde under your name? Yes. Um... There's, there's no reason not to mention that you belong to the Gallant Horde. Um, at this point, that cat is out of the bag, so should be fine. Um, I mean, don't go spreading my name around more than is entirely necessary, but... Low profile, indeed. Yeah, it, it, our, our assistance has been requested by the family, so um, they are expecting you. Do we have a contact, Your Majesty? Um, the Baracos are a, um, they're royal, but it's a relatively small kingdom, so I can send you to their castle, and you, they, they're expecting a team oh, very good. arriving on my, on my behalf, so your contact is the Baraco family. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Um, would you prefer a diplomatic or direct approach to this problem? It's an interesting one because Aldo and Lorena are traditionalists, generally speaking. However, they have also generally supported the summer court, if you see what I mean. So I guess your task is to get to the bottom of what is happening. Um, they believe their son to be ensorcelled um, or charmed in some fashion, uh, and that his interest in this girl is imposed upon him. I don't know if that is the case, or if they're just being obnoxious. Mm. Um, so your task is diplomatic. It is to discover what is actually going on um, and resolve it. If it turns out that he is being ensorcelled, then I suppose deal with whatever is doing the ensorcelling. But if he's not, then your task is to broker a peace between him and his parents, one way or another. Uh, Catherus would like politely yes. raise his hand. Uh, forgive me, my lady. Uh, what does ensorcelled mean? Oh, you know, when... Have you ever heard of a love potion, Catherus? Vaguely. That's the general idea. He's, he's decided that this girl is his one true love. He wants to marry her better than all the others. His family believes that this is 
He's not a natural in response. Way. Yes. Very well. Um, There's the heir right now. He is the heir. Yes, he is the old. How, how old? How old is oh, he? How old is he? <clears throat> he's a young adult. They're elves, so Jax doesn't remember the card. Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> no, just more for his disposition, like of the age where he falls in love very easily. <sighs> yes, probably. He's he's. He is young, but he is an adult. Mm. Uh, before we leave, because we're getting, you see, we're getting bamped to their castle, palace, Correct. whatever. I will put you just outside the gate so that you don't just Sweet. appear in their home. That would be um, good. Hearing that it might be some kind of ensorceling, um, Castrus is going to sit down and ritual cast uh, detect magic just before they leave. Okay, well, I guess we're standing here for 10 minutes now, so if you had any uh, other questions... This, this does give me the opportunity to offer congratulations, my, Your Majesty. I hear last week you, uh, your forces inflicted a great victory upon those who would keep you from your kingdom. They certainly did, but I'm not sure the congratulations should be mine. They should be the teams. They did good work. They work for you. They You picked them to go. Uh, you know, a general is as good as the soldiers, but nevertheless, general leads the soldiers. Well... I appreciate your sentiment. Um, I had a question, specifically. Um, do we know of any uh, criminal elements in the area that may have anything to do with this? Um, it's a relatively small kingdom. Uh, the family have been the royals of this family for generations. Um, as far as I know, there's no particular uprising or um, dissatisfaction with their rule. However, all kingdoms have criminal organizations, so it's possible. Hmm. Alright. Something to okay. keep in mind. Entirely Jack possible. Will... Sorry. Jack will look to the team and says, do we have anyone who specializes in uh, removal of uh, ensorcelment in that case? Oh, well, this should be great. I, I prefer removing of limbs and other, you know, in that case, a direct yes, approach. I mean, indirectly, that does work if, if you remove the head of the thing doing the ensorcelling. That usually solves the problem. However, it depends on what the circumstances are. <clears throat> if this is just misguided young people doing being stupid, I would prefer that we didn't kill them for their stupidity. Because misguided Death. young people are often stupid. Death that... by hormones. <laughs> that was answer my question, Your Majesty. Um, so, I suppose, to... diplomacy first. Only resort to violence if it's absolutely necessary. Impossible rescue. All right, yes. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, he's he's still at home. He's oh, not yeah. he's not in he's not been kidnapped or anything. He's just oh, he very emphatic about this woman. Which it might be completely legitimate, I don't know. You'll have to find that out. But I know that his parents do not believe it to be so. And they are subjects of mine, so I send a team to investigate. However, if it turns out that these two young people are genuinely madly in love with each other and everything is, you know, above board and, and it's just your standard hormonal bad decisions, then address it as such. Thank you, Majesty. Chuck looks to the others. Waiting for Catherus. You, you stand awkwardly in the throne room for another seven minutes while Catherus finishes his thing. <laughs> We're all just standing here. She probably makes delightful chit chat because she is, at the end of the day, a diplomat and a courtier, so she can talk to anyone. Um, but we can we can we can hand wave the the full <laughs> talk. <laughs> Certainly have enough food to just make a meal out of this while we wait. Out of character. Chuck can actually do the same uh, particular item once a day too, so. Everyone has a muffin. Yep. She she calls up Scratch, you all have a cup of tea while you wait for Catherine to finish this thing. <laughs> all right. Oh, excellent. Uh, are you done, dear? I believe so. Excellent. Right, well, if there are no more questions, I can send you on your way. Yes? Yes. I believe yes. we are ready, Your Majesty. Absolutely. 
Let's get this done. She claps her hands once, and you all feel the tug of the teleportation plane shifty thingy magic that she does, and you find yourselves outside a palace. It is... Oh, let's get everybody. Very beautiful. Um, pop you down there. And move this over so you can see it. This map, you guys. Tom Carter's. Holy shit balls. It is gorgeous. Um, the the doors, the palace is made of this like beautiful kind of white marble. It's exquisite. It's really, really beautifully designed. Um, there are some open gates that lead to a, a wide open courtyard with a fountain in the middle. Um, yeah. What do you want to do? One's going to just look around. I worry. I am getting used to all this reality shifting. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we do, so you might want to just, I guess, get over it. Yep. Move forward to the uh, entranceway. Hmm. Yes, are there any guards outside? Nah, it looks pretty open. Intriguing. Yeah, it's it's a Listen. pretty open area. This is like, an open an open area here. Yeah, it's a wide open door. You can just walk on in. Oh, I'm just oh, key. there's. Queen walks right up to the fountain and inspects it. Cool. <laughs> um, there is an elven couple standing in the courtyard, and as you enter, they turn and they look at you and they go, "Ah, you must be our queen's um party. Welcome." Um, the woman... Your Majesties, make us make us way up and very formally bow. They That's are both certain. extremely attractive people. They clearly have have uh, uh, like the woman is beautiful. She wears like a beautiful gown. Um, the man is in like very noble, you know, not quite armor, but it has that look of like he could probably fuck you up if he wanted to. Um, and they say, "Welcome, we are." He says, welcome. I am Eldo. This is my wife, Lorena. Um, we have been expecting you. It is lovely to see you. Um, our, our lady told us that some of you were perhaps not fitted to be welcomed in the, the palace itself, simply because of the size, you see, not because we're trying to keep you out. Um, it, our, our doors don't always, are, are not entirely made for the four-legged variety of people. Um, yeah, it's all so right. Thought, I'm used to it. We thought we would welcome you in our gardens. They are they are very beautiful and um, comfortable. That's very thoughtful. We appreciate that. Indeed. Um, um, what seems to be the issue at hand? We've we've been given the overview, but I'd like to hear the specifics from you. Well, come and and we we we're gonna just say that there are some lovely benches in this area because the map doesn't have them, but it seems likely. Um, they lead you off to like a set of benches, a picnic table, whatever. Um, please, please sit, those of you who sit. Um, well, you see, our, our son, Indro, is, um, he's always been a good boy. He's hes obviously the heir to all of this. Uh, he's, he's, you know, works hard and, and trains hard and is, is a very adept swordsman and all those good things. But recently, he has decided that this woman should be his wife. She's just some girl he met in a tavern, as far as we can gather. It's it's most unsuitable. Um, and we fear that there is something strange about it. He's usually so, well, obedient. And suddenly he's talking back to his father and and storming out of the room. And, well, we think there must be some magic involved. You believe he's been ensorcelled? Uh, that's not a real word, but perhaps, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Looks genuinely <laughs> taken away. I've been lied to. <laughs> yeah, guys, just gonna quickly stifle a laugh. <laughs> um, he's a young man, yes? Are, are we sure he's not just merely, you know, uh, meeting someone who, uh, tickles his fancy for the first time. The first time you feel the infatuation can be very powerful, no? 
it's not the first time he's taken an interest in someone. He's not, you know, made of stone. Um, but it's the first time that he's decided that this is someone he should wed and and make queen of our realm. That's a... You understand that in royal families, marriage is not just about who you love. Yes, yes. Of course, there's a pol I love a my wife nature. very much. She, look at her, she's beautiful. But we have grown very to love each other. Originally, when we got married, it was very much a political alliance. That is how these things work. And, and has he always... Ex oh, sorry, go ahead. And there will be expectations, I take it, from, from that uh, relationship that you're expecting of your son, is that correct? Uh, yes, of course. Yes. He is so... the heir, so he is expected to marry someone appropriate, not some girl from a tavern. No offence to girls from tavern, I'm sure she's very nice. She's just not a queen, you know. And he's never had any reservations about uh, the nature of, you know, uh, you know, the marriages he'd be most likely to engage in, the political nature. He's never expressed any hesitation before. He understands his duties. Should, right. should we find he does love this woman? Or a tavern wench? Is there potentially a... Well... How do I put this delicately? A weak house that you could help by arranging a marriage with their daughter, and he keeps her as a mistress. I mean, being a mistress is a long and noble tradition amongst the royalty, royalty so I don't see why not. Assuming the, the woman he married was amenable. Seems logical. It is very practical for our, uh, our species as well. Uh, we we have more than one partner. Mm. Yes, it's it's not a, it's not unheard of. Is your son nearby? Might I speak to him? Yes, I believe he is. Please hold while Jax looks where she puts him. I, I believe he's in the library. Um, we, no. should we call him out here? Oh, one thing before, if we do find there's some sort of um, supernatural mean infatuation do you have means to remove it or to aid us in any of these things oh, well it depends what it is we mm. we would like to get to the bottom of the situation of course and uh before we do meet your son uh is there a particular tavern we might meet this um uh person oh uh, i i don't believe she works in a tavern she works in a shop it's called right. the, the, the boots of the bear or something of that nature it's like a general uh. store what is her name? Oh, I don't know. Ask him. Okay, good. <laughs> Face. Wow. <laughs> yep. It is not a an appropriate name for the position. Shall Please. we? Shall we summon him? Please do. Please. She kind of waves, and a servant appears out of nowhere, and 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 says, um, "Can can you get fetch Indro from the library, please?" Um, and the the servant totters off, um, and he comes eventually returns with a young elven man who looks like something out of one of those rom coms, like all American boy kind of vibe. He really looks mm. the part. He looks like if he lived in America modern day America, he'd be, you know, homecoming king. That whole rom-com thing going on with this boy. Um, and he, he strides out and he goes, hello, mother, father. Yes, who are our visitors? Hello, visitors. How delightful to meet you all. Uh, I will walk right up to him and bow very deeply. <laughs> oh, um, hello. That's not necessary. My Something... Indra Baraka, would... lovely to meet you. In that case, Catherus, and I'll extend a hand to shake his. Shake his hand. Um, but like, I'll do like a... As soon as I shake it, I'll pull him a little bit closer, I'll look him right in his eyes, trying to detect and sorceling. Now, detect magic will show you... Um, I'm not sure it would show you in sorceling. Unless I'm not sure was... Kethris would know if he was <laughs> looking at it. 
You can tell that his weapons are magical. He has a great sword on his back, and he has a rapier at his side, okay. and those are both magical weapons. Um, but they, you, you do not see ensorceling in his eyes. Sweet. <laughs> Immediately dismisses it as an option. He's like, well, he's not ensorcelled. <laughs> right, well, let's, let's do some more investigation yeah. here, shall we? Um... So uh, Elzarin will walk up and shake um, Indra's hand as well. And it's like, well, Matt, how are you? I hear you have met someone lately, someone you uh, seem to like quite a bit. I suppose my parents have invited you to talk me out of this um, dalliance, as they call it. Uh, more to find out more information. Hmm. Are, well, are his parents still there? Yes. <laughs> they're, they're just standing watching this interaction. Uh, I would probably walk up to his parents and say, Lady, gentlemen, if you would leave us alone, perhaps we may investigate more thoroughly. Very well. Do report back once you have established what the truth of the situation is. And they will you leave. Count on it. They wander off in this general direction into the darkness. <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. You're not welcome here. Okay. <laughs> as soon as they leave, he kind of relaxes and he goes, Look, I know what they think. They think this is some sort of magic. It's not magic. Emily is obviously my absolute soulmate. I have never felt this way about anyone. She is astonishing. And I wish to marry her. Yes. Oh, I was going to ask how... Uh... You, you, this sounds interesting. You're very light on details. This Emily, what uh, what is it about her that has uh, captured your attention so exclusively? Well, she is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. She mm -hmm. is the sweetest, loveliest person. Um, she Animals simply, like, settle on her shoulders and sing songs. It is astonishing. She is perfect in every way. I'm going to insight check that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give advantage if you want. Ah, that'd be great. Is she oh, your okay. first? Uh, that was a 19 on the insight check. And, I mean, he believes he's telling the truth. Cool. I just wanted to make he, sure of that. Yeah, he, he absolutely believes he's telling the truth. And he's not speaking in a, a, a strange way, like his manner doesn't change or he doesn't kind of no. look... Okay, just making no, sure. He seems, he seems very sincere. Huh? Um. Well... Is, is she my first? Sir, I, I, I'm not sure what you're implying, but Emily is a woman of honor. No, 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 I, no, I no. like your of... first love, obviously. We didn't, we didn't uh, know if maybe who had, uh, you know, fallen uh, in love before. Uh, I mean, yeah, sorry, no, no, kind of personal. I meant what you thought I had inferred. Well, I mean, there have been dalliances. Yes, yes. But nothing like this. And I wouldn't dream of dallying in such a way were she not my wife. She deserves better. I uh, do not mean to be indelicate, but uh, is she also of elven kind? Would you have a life together of equal length? No, she is human. Mm. And does this not distress you? Why would it distress me? She will die while you are still young. Well, can happen to anybody, really. It, it can happen to anybody. Really. But I think we're skipping over the main point here. You love her, absolutely. That's great. Love to see it. But does she respond in the same manner? Question. Well, she, she has been somewhat um, coy in her in her responses um but i'm sure that that she is just being um hard to get perhaps well more um she knows who i am she knows what my family is like i fear that she is just protecting herself uh, she might that, be a bit intimidated perhaps that is fair. Or, or simply i i think she may believe that i am not sincere in my uh, intentions. Gotcha. And and um, 
would it be okay if we went to meet her? I mean, obviously we don't represent your court, so perhaps we could um, find out her position. Perhaps to f uh, see how she really feels. Oh, we perhaps I'm sure we could... you could play matchmakers. You could convince her of my sincerity. Yes, yes, I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah. You get the impression that this guy is not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that. Um... <laughs> I mean, I, I do make connections for a living, so this seems good enough. We, um, yes, we could, uh, yes, we could definitely see what we could do to fight to uh, get information, so that we could make sure that your parents would remove objections. Perhaps if we knew more about her, we could uh, get a way to uh, get around their issues. That that sounds like an excellent idea. Um, absolutely. Uh, How, however, right. I, I must, I must again mm -hmm. state that I am absolutely certain that she is my soulmate. Her her no. foot fits, you see. And that's how this works. Her foot? If, sorry, yes. you... You're Elaborate. Oh, yeah. that, that, that is not an expression I'm, I'm familiar with, uh, sir. Could you, could you elaborate? Do you not know about the magical soulmate shoes? That is that is news to me. I'm afraid I, I, I we have not gotten to that part of the discussion with your parents. I can't even use like shoes. a whole lot like snake oil. Oh, what? What has snake oil got to do with it? It's an old tradition from his people. Don't worry about it. Um... You see, if if you meet a girl and then you you find one of her shoes left behind and then you take it to her and the shoe fits on her foot then obviously you are soulmates it's well known that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard if it's her shoe of course it fits on her foot <laughs> struggling so hard not to laugh this guy's such an idiot <laughs> well yes but she wasn't wearing it at it's at still her shoe. her shoe steal her shoe i'll take off I, I, my boot and give it to you, and then okay. you give it back. Okay, okay, okay. I, I please think don't, please don't we, take off your boot. Yeah, I think we've got enough information here. Why don't we just go meet with her and see what we can figure out? Yeah, right. We could definitely try and find a way for us to know more about her, so that we could make sure that your parents would be more amenable to this pairing. But we right. can't do that until we meet her. This sounds like an excellent idea. So and where is she? Oh, she works in in the local general store. Local general store, right? Yeah. It, it's easy. What was to it spot. called again? The, <laughs> they didn't know what it was called. <laughs> they, they made it up. General shoppy. Yeah. Random name here. Ye, ye Write old. it down. It's, it's boots of the bear. <laughs> oh, nah, that's there we go. Not what it's called? It's called the the bear and the bell. My parents nah. are idiots. They don't go into the town, really. No, no, they, they, they were, uh, yeah, we were getting that now. See, that's why we're here, so we can get more information so they do not have these ignorant opinions about your beloved. I do have a question for you, though. They, they do try, they're just, you know, they're of yeah. the generation, you understand. You kind of, yes, yes, I do. I have a question for you that I, I don't want to upset you, but what if we find out that she is not has, um, that her feelings aren't as strong as yours are? That is not possible. <laughs> on on that, is, uh, Your Excellency, if, if I may, um, if there is an issue with that, would you prefer that we present her to you um, before uh, any decision is made? Perhaps I, you I could convince her. I, I don't understand the question. The, the, uh, with regards to what um, El Elzerin has uh, said, uh, just in regards to if, if we do find that uh, she has unusual intentions uh, would you wish to see meet with her first to what sort of confirm. unusual intentions are you implying sir in, in case there oh. perhaps is any untoward um, intentions towards the throne potentially like what if she does not wish to be a member of the uh, you know royalty that's that's a big decision she might her feelings for you might be strong but ruling a king is not for everybody. I, I cannot see why that would interfere with our obvious destiny together. It is, oh, if that if you do not see a problem, then uh, we won't worry about that problem yet. I have to trust your superior knowledge of your lady love. 
Excellent. So Quinn has been studying his face this whole time. Yeah. Um, do his eyes look glassy or fogged like he's on anything? <laughs> hey. Inside check, yeah. I guess inside check, yeah. Roll for I'm crystal meat. No, that's just how they look. I don't know how the chat just hates this family already. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at the chat. I, I will laugh the entire time. <laughs> I'd like to keep a straight face, honestly, because they're just, they're like, I yeah. just want to smack him. I'm like, yes, so yes, he was designed that way. Thank you. Down on that, um, with a 23 insight check, base of 16, so yeah. Um, he seems okay. very sincere, mm -hmm. um, not terribly bright. Um, but there's anyway. nothing to there's, there's there's no glassiness. There's no like it doesn't look like he's th there's no what am I trying to say like like resistance of any kind to you know what I mean like if someone is yeah. charmed or whatever you could usually see some kind mm -hmm. of resistance to it. Um, there's nothing like that. He seems to legitimately believe what he's saying. Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. Um, we will go to this Baron Bell. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. And and do send my deepest regards to my Emily. Of course. As you wish, Your Majesty. All right. Um, is there anything else we need to know before we go there? I'm addressing everybody here like a... You know, is there anything else you wish to ask the gentleman before we leave? I think we're all good. No questions for his highness. No, no all right. We, we will seek to uh, uh, see your will done, my lord. Yes. And I will leave. Okay. So the, the, the castle's like at the top of the hill in classic fairy tale village mm -hmm. style. Far, far away. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm just picturing Prince Charming from Shrek and then, and elf ears. And then, like the the, you know, the town kind of flows down mm -hmm. it. Um, but the general store is relatively easy to find. It's not a particularly um, big place. Uh, I'm sure you can ask around and find your way there. Um, Anthrus's and... driver really wants to, as you wish, the prince down the big mm -hmm. hill towards the general store. <clears throat> the fact that you all hate this guy means that I've done my job. <laughs> um, as as we Elsa make our way, as we make our way down the hill, uh, I will ask the group. Uh, any of you? How do I put this delicately? Uh, particularly gifted at speaking with women. Well, I am a woman myself. Yep. Yeah, it's, I mean, especially that's, on the that's... when it comes to this kind of stuff, that's all the good fun we get. I mean, I've spoken to women many times. I, I don't know if I have a particular skill at it. Um, kind of a um, odd question. Where is this would... leading? Experience, I believe, is the uh, more key more to the fact that if we are able to convince her to, as he put it. Uh, lose some of her honor. Maybe it will steer him in a different direction. That is an option we could use. Uh, Emily slapping you, Catherine. <laughs> that's why I'm volunteering someone else to do it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just find out some more information before we start trying to make or break this thing. Yeah, I do not. I agree. Why they do not just take. Yep, Chuck's experience with women. He... She oh, sorry, keeps the concubine. <laughs> Why marry people... in love? I don't see the reason. Some people aren't as practical. Fair enough? All right. Chuck moves on. So you go find the shop? Yes. Cool. Here it is. It, it's it's nice. It's a shop full of things. Um, let me pop you into it. Whoa. You don't you you can if you want to talk outside before you go in or anything, that's fine. I'm just dumping you in the shop for now. 
um, it's a really nice general store. It has a bunch mm -hmm. of different things in it. Um, there is a halfling man behind the counter. There is a human man sitting in the corner on the couches with his feet on the table. Um, there are a couple of patrons floating around having a look-see. Um, you do not see a human woman at this time. Uh, are there any books in the general store? Not that you can see where you are, no. Sweet. Um, Is there anything shiny? I mean, probably. What sort of shiny thing are you looking at for? Just shiny. There are some snow globes. Um, I, I will say before we, we walk in, like, do we want to just be straightforward and ask, or do we want to be sly about this and just try and get as much info as we can about the place before we you know, find Emily. I guess we find her and deal with this swiftly. Are you gonna kill Emily? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Emily is not. He's not thinking about it yet. He has been told it's diplomatic, so he's not putting it on the table yet. <laughs> well, let's let's make ourselves known. Let's make ourselves look like. Uh... Decent people to talk to first. Let's go and see if we want to buy anything. And then afterwards we can try and get a conversation started. The fight Excellent. is decent. The, the best way to make a merchant open up is by spending money. Fair. That is very true. Yeah, so uh, Chuck will look for some brewing supplies at this point. Shop has... A fuck ton of things. It it is mm -hmm. very much. A, I don't know how many of you have ever been into like a farming community's general store, um, yeah. but it has almost anything you can imagine. There's nothing magical. It's all very mundane stuff. But there is rope. There is hammers. There are like hammer hammer hardware meets four square. <laughs> yep. Yes, exactly like that. Um, <laughs> there uh... are like. Bags and rucksacks. There are probably like jackets, um, produce, big jars of rice. You name it. Is there a <clears> meat <throat> section? Did you say a wheat or meat? Meat. Yes, there's a butcher section. Yep. How fresh is the meat? It's pretty fresh. I'm just gonna grab a sack from like the sack selection and just mm -hmm. fill it with meat, okay. and then walk up to the um. Halfling man. Yep. Zooms is the shop owner, but he doesn't. He says, Ah, hello, you're new here. Haven't seen you here before. How lovely to meet you. Hello. I would like these. And he puts down the sack and opens it. It's all oh, the meat inside. That's a, a lot of meat. Bit of a carnival, are we? <laughs> Excellent. That'll be. He like looks at the meat, cuts it, mm, 50 silver. Done. Jax doesn't understand how fantasy economies work. Just <laughs> <a> fire. <laughs> Oh, I know that a peasant doesn't even earn a gold a year somehow. Yeah, yeah. he gives hands over the fifty silver. Yep. Thank you. Like doing penny. business with you, sir. Chuck, Chuck will likewise find a selection of um, the brewing equipment and uh, pop up to the uh, cool. counter. Yep. Lay down some oh. appropriate um, coin. You making some ale, sir? Ah, yes. Excellent. What sort of ale do you like to make? Uh, summer ale is quite good at the moment. But, oh, uh... yes. I'm a fan. Jax is also a fan. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be ten gold. <laughs> it's quite all right. I'll, I'll give twenty. Oh, goodness. Big spender. I like it. It's uh, a trade well spent. Um, Garley's going to find some chain. And then she's going to go and find some good quality clothes, like fine clothes, and then also some older clothes which look like they've been like, r like repaired okay. and done over multiple times. The second hand section, gotcha. Yeah, yep. basically. Yep. And then she's going to take those up to the counter and go, G'day, g'day, how's it all going? Grand, grand. Oh, and, and how are you? It, are you a robot horse? That's amazing. <laughs> Guilty as charged. It's a, it's a great life. I, uh, I would recommend it. Wouldn't recommend the part where you have to get your arms chopped off, though. That's a bit I of a I am not a fan of that idea. 
Beautiful, but Dana. I see you have made the best of your circumstances. Absolutely. That's what life's all about, right? I agree. Sweet as. So, I wanted to just grab uh, these items if I could, lay them out on the table. Excellent. That'll be 15 gold. <laughs> awesome. Tell you what, I'll give you 20 if you're willing to part with a little bit of information. Oh, bit of a gossip, are we? I know everything that goes on around here. Uh, I thought you would. It's, uh, it's a full merchant that doesn't keep his ears to the ground. Indeed. So what information are you looking for? I would like to note that Lon is standing behind Gally for this. He's, he's like just okay. behind <laughs> and, shopping, and just standing like a step behind with a sack of beef in his hand. <laughs> um, she's just going to lean over and go, so um, I've heard that the prince has a new love interest. Oh, yes. You should ask her about him. It's hilarious once she gets going. Oh, yes? Mm-hmm. One and... moment. Emily! He yells down the stairs, and you see a woman <laughs> come up the stairs with a big barrel of, like, something under her arm. And she's wearing, like, pretty standard sort of, you know, middle-class peasant clothes, if such mm. a thing could exist. Um, and she has all her hair, like, braided up, up out of the way. Um which is, uh, if, if you're a girl with long hair, you know that to get that shit out of my face so I can do things kind of thing. And she comes up and she goes, yep, what do you need? Are they after some ale? Hello? Can I help? Yes, g'day. Uh, sorry, I'll, let me introduce myself. Garley Venture. Ah, lovely. Emily Woods. Nice to meet you. Beautiful. So, uh, we have been, uh, we heard some rumours about, uh, your, uh, well, let's say you've had some run-ins with the prince. Demeanor changes <laughs> into, like, pissed off. <laughs> and she's like, yes, he's an idiot. He's decided yeah. that I'm, like, his soulmate or something? I don't understand. We had he... one conversation in a tavern, and then he shows up with this ridiculous shoe made of glass. I don't get it. I would never wear a shoe like that. Do you know how easy it would be to break your ankle wearing one of those things in a place like this? And Isn't he's it? like, put this on your foot. And he's the fucking prince, right? So I put it on my foot and it fits perfectly. And he's like, aha, now it, this proves that we're soulmates. I'm like, it's a fucking shoe, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I, he won't listen, though. He's decided. It's ridiculous. So, dur during this conversation, Quinn is watching the gentleman in the corner of the couch. Uh -huh. Is he listening, and is he reacting? He is absolutely listening, and he is laughing like he's heard this rant repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> he is very amused by the situation. It, like, a, this is... I'm, I'm amused to watch how this is playing out once again. <laughs> Elzron will approach Emily and ask her, um, was there anything weird happening that night at the inn? Was there any, there's any strangers there that were... I think maybe someone might be playing a prank on him, maybe talked him into... <laughs> some sort of foolishness. He's not the quickest of wits, and I He's think someone may have dumb as turned a his head around. Is what he is. I know you're not supposed to speak about royalty like that, but honestly, if I was going to marry one of them, I'd marry his younger brother, the archer. He's very pretty, and he's actually quite smart, and he can shoot an arrow into just about anything. Not that I'm going to marry into royalty, because who wants to live in a palace like that and and have to like wear pretty dresses all the time and wear stupid glass shoes? No, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it seems a bit uh, restricting. Glass shoes are stupid. <laughs> right? I, I don't think that's actually things you wear a lot. It's just a... Never mind. It's, um, it's their shoes for people who don't spend any time on their feet is what they are. If you get my drift. Probably. Um, but was there anybody there that may have um, convinced him of this foolishness? Or any stranger or someone he was talking to a lot? Not at the tavern, but a weird thing happened that morning. Okay. And I've kind of wondered ever since whether maybe it had something to do with it. But I feel stupid telling you about it because it was... Weird? It, seem, it seems dumb. I mean, yeah. it, fits, it fits him. And, yeah. And we're, we're travelers. We come from all sorts of weird places. I mean, I was in a club not too long ago where the owner was sucking the life out of people so but 
Yeah. Like a vampire. Kind of, kind but of. not really, because that would have been the blood drinking thing. Like, no, it was it was a whole weird thing. So huh. uh, trust us. We can we can handle stupid. We believe okay. weird. Hey, Orev. And and the guy who was sitting there gets up and comes over. This is Orev. He's like my brother. Greetings. Friend person. Um he was there that night. So what happened was we were walking down the street towards the tavern and he was going so so he's on this like team um and they they play this game it's a dumb game but they enjoy it and he kind of goes it's not a dumb game it's a lot of fun she's <laughs> like yeah whatever um and they like kick this like pig bladder around right, right. um and he was trying to get me to come and watch their next game, but I was working that night. So I said, look, I'd love to watch you come and kick a ball. In fact, I wish I could come watch you come and kick a ball, but I have to work that night. And then this woman shows up, just poof, out of nowhere. And she was fucking weird, man. She had like wings. She wore a lot of pink and sparkles and stuff. And she said something about a ball and then waved her stick and there was like the sparkly sparkly and then my clothes turned into like this crazy beautiful ball gown for like two hours and then it went back to normal again fucking weird <laughs> and then she disappeared and i was like that was weird right and he and, and he goes it, it was weird she was weird she was weird she was pretty but she was weird little too much makeup for my taste but you know and she I kind don't... of just rolls her eyes at him I don't want to interrupt what is quite a riveting story, but I'll turn right. to our party and sorceling. And then I'll just go back to looking at the various <laughs> knickknacks. Anyway, that right, night right, right, I met right. I met the the prince was at the tavern, which why would he be at the tavern? That's weird too. Um and we had like a brief conversation. He bought me a drink. Which I'm not gonna turn down the prince if he buys me a drink. He's got loads of money. And That's like fair. it would be impolite, right? You you try not to piss off it's, the royals. Oh yeah, it's just a drink. You can, you can talk to a guy and he can buy you a drink. That's all it has to right? be. Right. Anyway, were, and then were and you then, wearing this fancy dress during this meeting? Well, yeah. It, 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 like my clothes changed back after a few hours, but you know it was a nice dress, and I was like, oh well, I'll I can roll with this. Also, yeah. I may have had one or two drinks before we left, so I wasn't entirely using my best judgment. No, oh, right. everyone pre games, it's fine. Mm. I mean, anyway, and then and then we left. We, le we like spoke to other people and you know, mm -hmm. hung out, and then we left. And then the next day, he shows up with this fucking glass shoe and tells me that I'm his soulmate. Question Did the, that lady who enchanted your clothes say anything besides something about a ball? I honestly don't really remember. I think oh. she, she, she said something about being a fairy. Yeah. Which I could tell about right. the wings. Right? The wings and, were and the magic wings. wand. Yeah. Sure. And there magic was a lot of sparkles going on. Um, That's very funny. To be honest with you, there have been some other weird things that have happened since then. Like, like every now and then, all our mice disappear. You know, like a shop like this, we do our best yeah. to get rid of the rodents, right? But there are always a few. But every now and then, they're all just gone. And Do then for a talk? while, you see, you see like these strange people walking around town, and they look kind of mice mousy. And and Orav <laughs> kind of scoffs, and he's like, "This is one of her crazy theories that she that that the mice are turning into people. It it's uh, like mice don't turn into people. That's that's stupid." Also, Crit there was the thing with the pumpkin, right? Yeah. There was there was this guy had a bike, and he was. Do you know what a bike is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. He was riding his bike down the road, and oh. then the bike just turned into a pumpkin. That's weird. That is a very foul-tasting pumpkin, I'd imagine. Um, we did not eat it. Good. That would. That's not wise. Um, so this has been happening for a little bit, has it? Like, how long has the weird events been happening? Like a few weeks, maybe. Oh. Alright, well that does answer I don't know some if they're questions. connected. But th uh, all I'm saying is there's some weird stuff and I think maybe the yeah. prince and his, his his stupid shoe. Well, how, somehow... I mean, it sounds like he may have gotten a visit as well and they may have, you know, done a lot of magic and told him, that, hey, anyone who's this shoe fits will He insisted and... it was my shoe. 
I would never have a shoe like that. Is one of these ball games happening soon? She turns to to Orav and he goes, "Oh yeah, we we play every couple of days out on the field. Just just outside of town. Why you want to come? It's great fun. Maybe you could play. Absolutely, I would love to am, go to am the I, ball. Am I gonna have to invent fancy yeah. soccer? <laughs> Who's <laughs> ball? <laughs> All right. Well, um, that's that's definitely a lot of information to go on. Um, one last thing. Mm -hmm. You said that this has kind of started happening in the last few weeks or something. Was there anything big happening a few weeks ago? Like an uh, event, anything like that? Any that big celebration or festival? Nah, not that I know you of. You have a shoe? Oh, but yeah, he left shoe. it here. He he insisted that I must have the other one. I don't have the other one. But yeah, I have the shoe. It's upstairs. Do you want me to get it? Yes. Yeah. Can we see it? Cool. She tuzzles off upstairs. It's gone for a couple of minutes, and she comes back, and she gives you, like, the classic Cinderella glass slipper. Oh, Stupid so shoe. Quinn wears these big copper-colored goggles, and her eyes mm -hmm. look huge, and She's just looking at the sparkly, and then she starts kicking off her boot and trying to put it on her foot. It does not fit you. Interesting. And then I just hand it off to the next person and put my shoe back on. It does not fit anyone. Oh, I was hoping really? to try, <laughs> put on, try to put the shoe on. <laughs> it looked <laughs> too small even in his hand, probably. Yeah. I was yeah. hoping yeah. someone would de possibly detect magic upon it, though, while we have a few minutes yeah. here at our leisure. Yeah. They, as soon as I get it, I would have cast Detect Magic okay. and done a physical investigation on it um, using my... Uh, uh, I, d I don't have uh, glass blowing tools, but I do have um, jeweler's tools, which would probably have like a little we uh, magnifier. Tools tools there. The Detect Magic it definitely is magical. Um, it's cool. definitely got some sort of enchantment on it that... Yeah. Uh, does it... So, do we... I'm then going to cast Identify on it to find out what magic is on that thing. Okay. Um, it is designed to fit a particular being. So it's 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 keyed to a person, and then that person is the only person who can wear this shoe. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. So well, it will I... never fit anybody else but Emily. Correct. Then. Right. right. I'm going to say, with my expertise, that someone is fucking with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> is. Somebody has some uh, is having a bit of a laugh at them, but it's just. Yeah. Um, um, should we tell his parents that somebody's talking to him about this? It seems like somebody gave him the shoe to, just to mess with him. I and yeah, I definitely to... think we need to go and have a talk with him again. He's the heir, is he not? Uh, yeah, he is. is. Yes. Emily, uh, you seem to know a little bit about his brother. Mm -hmm. The one you he what you wanted him to shoot you with arrows or something. <laughs> um, shoot me with arrows. I'm just saying he's quite good at shooting arrows. It's nice to watch. That's all. Doesn't mean I want to marry is, him. I just think it's nice to watch. What is their relationship like? The brothers. Yes. Well, obviously, if you're the shit son that doesn't get the kingdom, maybe you'd harvest oh, some I see. Armando oh, is... I mean, I, I haven't really spoken to him much. I've just seen him, you know, practicing from time to time. Um, but he he's, he's quite intense. Um, and he is... Um, <sighs> so... Andro's the golden boy, right? He can do mm -hmm. no wrong um, and all that stuff. Armando's smarter. Mm -hmm. um, probably because he hasn't had everything handed to him. He's had to try for more. Mm. Mm. Um, but is, but, but I don't think he's particularly resentful. I've never got that vibe. But he's That's clever, hard to right? Say. I, don't, I don't know him, really. Oh, he I mean... seems cleverer than his brother. Honestly, if I was going to pick someone to rule the kingdom, it would be the oldest girl. She is amazing. How so? Her name is Lydia. 
Yeah. Lydia, Lydia is um, slightly, I think, a year younger than Armando, um, and she is, she's just, she's super cool. She's she's very accomplished. She can do all sorts of cool things, um, and she's beautiful. Very attractive, right? Hmm. All of the children are beautiful, though. Let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, not arguing that. I just was wondering what about Lydia made you think ruler of the kingdom? She just seems to have a lot of savvy in a way that the others don't. Armando's not savvy? No, he's, he's book smart. Yeah. He's not Learned. really savvy. Lydia spends more time amongst, like, down here, hanging out. Mm. Where does She's she nice. like to spend her time? Indeed. She wanders around. She comes in here from time to time. Um... She goes to the tavern more than her brothers do. She the rest of them are too are. young for taverns, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Ah, uh-huh. so the, oh, I didn't think if about I that. If I was going to could... pick, I'd pick Lydia. She seems like the best of the lot. But that's not up to me. I know. Right. Here's, a, here's an odd question for you, though. If, uh, what would you... <laughs> if there was a chance for Lydia to rule... Would you marry one of her brothers? To see that happen? No, I'm not that invested. Fair enough, I just wanted to check. More of an idle question. <laughs> Sorry. Can I roll an insight check on that, just out of curiosity? Bad, let me just check my score again. Uh, 17. Uh, no, she seems legit. Like, she she definitely has a preference amongst the royals, but it's not yeah. like a, I'm going to change my life for this. This is just yeah. a, like, if, if, you know. It was more of a random shot in the dark just because yeah. we're in new territory here. I'm trying to... Yeah, no, see. she doesn't She doesn't seem actually invested in it in that to that degree. It's just... Perfect. Like... Excellent. Um, yeah, I think we need to go talk to... Indra's parents a bit and see what they might not have shared with us about certain events lately. There might be some more politics here going on that we don't know about that they would probably know about. Likewise. Mm. Yep. All I know. The the other politics. aspect that Chuck, oh yeah, the other thing that Chuck is will dead. pick up on is the um oh sorry, Lon. Uh the um context of the fairy um uh, link to it. Yeah, but the rulers are probably no more about that. This is, you know, mm. these these people are aligned with uh, our queen, so they probably at least know something about the Fae. They might know who this person is who might be... It might be a drunk aunt. It might be somebody who has beef. It'd be good to find out. Mm. Shall we talk on the way? <laughs> Lon, yes, let's do that. To say? Yeah, sorry, Lon. Yes. Strange woman in pink distributing dresses is no basis for selecting <laughs> officials of government. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you get DM inspiration. Yes. Because that's an excellent reference. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here's being oppressed, so I don't know what your problem is. Yes. Alright. Well, thanks for your time. Um here. For you. I'll flicker a, a gold piece and go, that that'll get you a drink tonight. You buy me a drink, Centaur Girl. <laughs> Might be plenty more where that came from if I stick <laughs> around. You get the feeling that maybe Indra's really not Emily's time. <laughs> right. Have a good one. And uh, just Thank you so much, everybody. everybody. You're very welcome. Hopefully you can sort his brain out so he stops showing up here with random presents. He never brings anything useful. It's always like gigantic bouquets of already dead flowers. <laughs> Would you rather I mean, they were planted? Yes! Obviously it's better to have a plant, then it stays alive. Everyone knows that. At the very least, that will be fixed, if not more so. No, don't... The... don't are you giving him <laughs> advice? Is Are you here to, like... No, I'm just teasing him, I'm sorry. I mean, okay, if he's, if he's gonna give me presents. Actual plants, not flowers. I don't even like chocolate. I prefer okay. savoury things. Cheese boards. Now Ooh. we're talking. Cheese is that expensive. That's some taste to it too. Yeah. Cheese boards. Variety. I mean, if he's going to bring random shit, he may as well bring shit I like, right? Well, I was like saying, if we can't, if we can't fix the situation, at least we'll make sure he's doing a better job of it. 
Worst case scenario. I like how they're like, this is just Jax. I'm channeling my inner Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm like, cheese board. Mm, yeah, right? Homer Simpson, yeah. Also books. <laughs> if we're gonna, if we're just gonna like make it how to woo Jax, then <laughs> books. Buy me books. I doesn't like books. books. Yeah, I know. books are cool. I like. I you. don't think he's I ever like read a book in his life. That boy. <laughs> he does not seem well read, but you know he doesn't seem a bad guy. So let's let's oh, focus no, on that. Don't get me wrong. He's perfectly yeah. sweet. I just don't want to yeah. marry him. Oh no! I, I totally get that. with that forever. God no. Uh, yeah, I like I said, he he seems okay. So we're gonna we'll do everything we can to make sure he gets the message and maybe fix this if we can. Okay. Don't wish for anything. No, no, I I figured that out already. Thank you, though. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> I would love to never hear from him again. We could sew his mouth shut. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Please don't do that. <laughs> Bond looks slightly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> You just hear Ella's around the what domain of dread did he come from? <laughs> <laughs> or I've says, and if you want to catch the game we're playing tomorrow afternoon, you should you should come by. It'll be fun. Why would we catch a game? Oh, it's to a learn figure, how to play? It's a figure of speech. You you come and watch us play. We could teach you how to play. It it could be fun. I just do not understand your common <laughs> Oh. Sorry, it must be my accent. I don't know where he's from, but he... Yeah, never mind. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Right? These people are so friendly. I like this place. Yeah, it's great. Not it's one power. person has been rude to us yet. Yep. Let's, well, let's go to the rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we go back to the palace, we might take a quick break um, and do some marble racing and win some things. Um, <laughs> cheese is the correct love language, right? Bring me cheese. Um, anyway. I'll be both. So we are closing our giveaway for the Finity Glove. Ooh. Looks like Sherrit, who has a habit of picking up gloves, is going to have a different glove. Um, oh, nice. Our break time giveaway is for a, any mouse pad in our Red Bubble store, because I recently discovered Ooh. that we have mouse pads. I didn't even know we had that. So, um, if you would like to get yourself a Gallant Horde mouse pad, you can win one in our Marble Race. I believe that the Marble Race is being run by our nine-year-old today. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> we will see how that goes. Uh, and, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes to see how this plays out and whether they manage to resolve this weird situation um don't go anywhere oh i heard a noise i hope they're all good um and we will see you shortly hello humans of the internet we're back we're back um <laughs> welcome back uh thanks to our sproglet for being our marbles racer announcer for the day um that's pretty cool and to was it Garen? Gavin? Gavin? I think Garen. Gavin won the mouth pad. So if you please will email me with your choice of what you would like on it, I will make that happen. Um All right. So you guys have spoken with the royals, you have spoken with the commoners. Um you have found out a bunch of information. Now you are returning to the palace to continue in your pursuit of resolving this weird situation. Um, peacefully peacefully uh what so far is it, do you I've, I've moved you to the palace map but if you want to do anything on the way between the two places feel free um yeah I suppose we should uh -oh. probably talk our tactics here right yeah so we're probably gonna have to ask him just straight up how he got the shoe right mm -hmm. yeah at some point but we About maybe the should theory we should also maybe to uh, parents to see if they might know what's going on with this fairy person, because somebody who's randomly doing stuff around here for weeks, they must have some idea that it's happening. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. 
But yeah, maybe go. Uh, but yeah, definitely ask because he definitely seems the type who would tell us instantly with no other agenda. You should also maybe ask his parents about the shoe. Because if it's a family tradition that that's how you pick your spouse, <laughs> is it? I have a family that's probably not. Given the theory, yes, that, that would seem unlikely, but we can certainly rule it out. And potentially talking to the siblings. Mm. Yes, the sister sounds like she would have a better understanding of such things, potentially. I think there are rocks in that palace that have a better understanding than that boy. <laughs> You're not wrong, Catherus. Rocks cannot understand things. They are objects. Uh, it depends on what kind of rocks they are and from what plane. Right, okay. okay. So Wait, you're back to the palace? Just... Oh, sorry, yep. Catherine is an Earth Ganassi, isn't he? Yes. Don goes up, Don follows up apologies if your grandparents are rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not entirely how it works, but he just kind of shrugs it off. <laughs> um, wow. Lon, wow. <laughs> He has no idea how the hell on Earth can not see I know, work. he doesn't understand, yeah. but wow. They're not, they're not Korg. I've <laughs> <laughs> never seen one of them. Okay. Right. So you return to the palace. Yes. Um, there's there's not really anyone in the courtyard when you get there. There, It's probably a random servant somewhere, though, that you can send to find someone if you would like someone found. <laughs> Do yes. we want the parents first or him? I suggest him. Or, we'll get less or from him. And it'll be faster. Mm. Understandable. Lon walks up to the servant and is the servant an elf? Yeah. Um, he turns, he switches to elvish. Servant, would you please fetch the prince? The elvish which, prince. Which, oh, okay. Yeah, one Intro. moment. Take Thank off. you. Um, and brings him back out. He comes out, let's say, this way this time. Ah! You came back! Excellent. Did you speak with my love? Don't yeah. just make this expression, like... <laughs> yes, we did. So, um... And is she well? Is she not beautiful? Yeah, no, she's... She is both those things. Yeah. yeah. Very smart. That's true. Wise as well. He is wise. Did you see how the mm. birds land upon her shoulders, as though she were some kind of pure paragon of wonder? There were uh, no birds. She, we, we, were we were inside. Ah, okay. Right. Um, who, who gave you the slipper? I found it. That would... Where? Just outside the tavern after she left. I followed her to, you know, try to stop and, and see if she would be amenable to seeing me again. And I found the shoe on the ground. Did you see her uh, lose the shoe? No, but it was quite clearly hers. Who else could wear such a delicate shoe? Someone who doesn't, she doesn't... intend to walk on them. <laughs> Why would you um, not? It's a she... shoe. Why would you not walk on it? It's because it's, it's made glass. of glass. <laughs> oh, well, I don't understand how women's shoes work. Are they Clearly. not so light on their feet that they can simply prance along the ground on their glass shoes? Lon just looks at Galley when he says light on their feet. <laughs> he just goes back. doesn't say anything. He's just like... Oh. Emily does not I know about that. your shoe. She, never, she, she was just surprised when you gave her that slipper. She'd never seen it before. It fit her, but she did not know it. There was there was a woman there. She was standing at the door, and she, she clearly indicated that the shoe belonged to my love. Oh, you're oh, talking about what, the fairy. Oh, well, she wasn't a fairy. She was just a woman. Kind of older woman, wearing, like, a lot of blankets and things around her. Have you mm. seen this woman since? Since that day? Mm. Well, not that I recall. Yes. There are a lot of women in the village, though. But only one worthy of my love. Why were you in the bar that night, just out of curiosity? Was there a special occasion? I just had a whim. Do you not I sometimes just, have I, whims? 
do. I just didn't know if perhaps there was a reason for you to be there that night that, uh, you know, someone would know you were there. No, my sister goes there a lot, and I thought it would be interesting. Was it? Besides obvi the obvious. Of course, because I met my love. Did your yes. sister suggest that you join her there? No. I just, I just had, had a feeling that it would be in entertaining. All right. Um. And thank you. That that was uh that was helpful. I just uh yeah she she is a uh, Emily is a a lovely woman. She is the she best. Did woman. say that she prefers cheese. Prefers and, cheese and to what? To chocolate. chocolate. She's she's more oh, cheese over chocolate. She likes cheese. Also, Excellent. she's more of a plant. She's more of a plants than flowers girl. She likes plants. I see. Life well, 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 this is and excellent well, information. She, she likes books. So, we have a whole library. I can, I can, I can give her all the books she could desire. Maybe start with one or two at a time. I mean, she'll want to read them first, obviously. So, give her some time well, to. This is fix excellent things. information. Yeah. I do thank you for it. No worries. We 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 knew you were you wanted this kind of information, so we did our best. Perhaps if you yeah. were to maybe go out and plant some plants somewhere for yeah. her. Ooh, yeah. Like, like a where, show of devotion. Where, where does one plant? We have a beautiful garden here. Perhaps she would like to come and see it. Maybe. It's possible. So, a, standing, um, a standing invite. Have you let's, a garden? Uh, what, what, we, what no, I'm afraid you... Oh, have you a gardener? Yes, we have several. Speak to them about potted plants. Ah. That's that's an Good excellent point. idea. They are they're probably very knowledgeable in that. You should do that now. Sir, I should. You are right. <laughs> yeah, <we laughs> he immediately to, turns around and just goes off into the garden. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, excellent. That was. I was hoping he'd summon his parents. <laughs> yeah. That's one less headache. Yes. So we'll summon Is the his servants still yeah. around? Yeah. Sir, There's yeah. always a couple of servants around. Should we get the princess or the parents next? Parents. The whole family. I would rather not. Uh, yeah. I think let's, individual let, interviews are perhaps better. Let's let's start with the parents, just because, like I said, there's something stuff we could tell them that will they'll need to know, and they might they'll probably be the ones who know the most about this. They know their kids. They they might know anybody who wants to interfere in their lives more than their kids will. I say the parents first. Do they know their kids? <laughs> Do they know they have someone about that is doing things potentially a little bit different? Well, I mean, I I'm also going from the viewpoint of if, if there was somebody messing with my children, I, I'd probably want to know more about that and who they mm -hmm. are. So it's more of a courtesy, diplomacy, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, um, Anthrus is going to put his face in the fountain and just just scream <laughs> just, like, keep his face in the water and just be like <laughs> Lon's going to just be, as soon as he sees this he's just going to yank Kefers out drowning venting okay and he just dunks you back in <laughs> no warning I'm, Lon's going to go find a nearby servant and once mm -hmm. again in Elvish would you please bring the king and queen out to meet her, speak with us? Okay. The, the servant trots off and comes back with these two. Indra has disappeared off in this direction. Ah, you're back! Hello, what have you discovered? Um, do you happen to have any issues with fairy godmothers? I'm sorry, or anyone who with might what? Wish Somebody's put your son up to this. Somebody put this idea in his head. Somebody with fey magic. You know, wings, wands. Uh, uh, this is Mike to check. pumpkins. Mm. Insight? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll insight check them as well since I'm watching them. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's watching can do it. Nope. If you wish. Um, not horrible. Uh, 14. Um, 14, 14. Dirty 20. Nice. Okay, in 
anyone yeah. who's like 15 and up can see immediately when you say the words fairy godmother on Lorena's face, you see concern. <laughs> Just a flash of like, oh shit. And then it's gone. Um, What's his name? Eldo. Yeah. Nothing. He's like, what the hell's a fairy godmother? I don't even, what are you talking about? Um, He's like, I, I don't understand. Isn't uh, that something somebody... from stories? That's come. You know, people know it from stories. It's something that happens, just not very often. But apparently, it's happening now. But aren't they supposed to do good things? If they like you, they, they do good do, things. Yeah, they do what they believe to be good. Yeah, they might also just be a very misguided and uh, ill-informed theory. Possible as well. But Lorena uh, kind of reaches out and said... puts her hand on on Eldo's arm and goes. Um, darling, this this may be a larger problem. You see, I I have such a being in my family, and he turns uh, to her and he goes, "What?" And she goes, <laughs> "Yes, so well, sort of. You see, I it's a distant relation, very distant, at least a several greats, great great." Great great grandmother, I think. She's a minor archfey. And she this, likes this to point. Yes, sorry. Chuck? At this point, Chuck will um click through his um research that he's been doing on Fae, learning other aspects of it and roll uh with advantage the uh, history check on Fae. Yep. Go for it. Yep. But carry on, sorry. Um she she basically just says, um, Yes, she, she sort of likes to style herself that way. You know, grant mm -hmm. wishes you know... and whatnot. And do you know her name? Do you understand what an impolite question that is to ask of an archfey? Mm. Yeah. She maybe yeah. How would she be referred to? There we go. Title. She goes by um sent Sendrilla. 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 Okay. Sendrilla. With the 23 history check on the Fae, uh, does that ring any bells? Um, you vaguely recall hearing the name. She is not someone, she's, she's a relatively low level in like Archfey world, mm -hmm. um, but she is. Yeah, so so like the name would have come up, but it's not often a focus of the books because there are more important people to talk about. Yep. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. No, it just confirms. Cool. Thank you. Minor character. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. But but she is an archfey, and and she is you you definitely the the name is familiar. Well, it seems like this person, this relative of yours, is the one who's um putting these ideas in Indra's head. Um. Emily, if it's any constellation, is a perfectly nice person who does not think that what he uh, does not feel the way Indro does, and hopes that he comes to his senses like you wish him to. I see. So she is not has no desires for the throne. No. no. I would say quite the opposite. Well, she seems is... very very happy in her life. That that is some consolation. However, that does not help. The fact that this being is interfering. Yes, making suggestions to our rather suggestible son. Yes, so, your and, uh, we do. Do we keep the? Do we keep the slipper? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 finish. Oh, so do I'm... we keep the slipper? I'm asking out of character. Do we leave it with Emily? I don't know. What did you do? She doesn't particularly want it, so she wouldn't have cared if yeah. you wanted it. I, I don't think we gave it back. So no, I think Kelly still has it. Yeah. Well, then I would mention to the, the uh, king and queen that we do have uh, an item she created that is part of her magic. Some shoe she gave your son to convince him that Emily was the person he needed to be with. I don't know if I that um, helps, but it is it is a sample of her direct interference. You know, I imagine if you 
had somebody knowledgeable about magic, it would have her fingerprints all over it, for lack of a better expression. I'm not sure we have anyone with that particular skill set on our staff. It's not something that comes up here a lot. We're very you, simple people. Do you have someone that mm -hmm. runs a forge? Well, yes, there's a blacksmith in town. Would smashing this help? Point, just pointing at the glass slipper. If it's uh, magic, then we probably won't be able to just break it with a hammer. I mean, I, I can try that right now, but I can tell you right now, it won't work. Yeah. But what if you hit is it there... really hard? You'd have to hit it with a weapon that is capable of breaking magic, not just breaking objects. I, uh, this is Lorena even... again. Um, I have really? never actually met her. I've only ever heard family stories that occasionally she takes a shine to someone and decides to try and help them. Um, so you, and if they, so if they express wishes, she will, she will grant their wishes. However, she interprets freely. Apparently. Hmm. I mean, Lorena. There yeah. also appears to be... How attached are you to this? Cyrilla. Cendrilla? Yes. That's... I mean, as I said, I've never met her. She is family, though. Yeah, let's let's wait, keep that option in the plan B for now. <laughs> Your uh -oh. Majesties, sorry to interrupt, but at the uh, other query, um, have you heard any reports of unusual things happening in your town? Unusual such as what? Um, people disappearing. Mice turning into people? Likes we, to have, pumpkins. we have heard no reports of anyone disappearing, no. Okay, all right, or, or similar. Um, did you say bikes into pumpkins? That is what they spoke? Uh, no, I yes. have not had any of these reports. Yeah, we, we think that this uh, uh, Cendrilla is probably showing up around town and randomly, I, I'm not sure, uh, answering idle wishes or doing things she thinks are helpful, but I think she's around here somewhere <laughs> interfering at times. I suppose the or, question I don't know is, why. is she trying to help Indra or, Indra, or is she trying to help this Emily? I doubt it she... is helping Emily. Yes. If if anything, taking pleasure in her discomfort would be I see. closer. Tell me, uh, I, I for one know nothing of the Archfey. Uh, would there be a way that you could think of to, I, I don't know if summon her is the right word, but make contact? I mean, there are ways to attract the attention of Archfey using their names does. We've been talking about her, so it's entirely possible that she already knows that we're having this conversation. Indeed. Um, well, if that is the case, I believe Cinderella might be interested to know that this would be... I don't know if acting against the Queen of Summer would be the best way to put it, but... That is interesting. Uh, I wonder if we. She like taps, uh, like waves over a random servant and goes, "Could you bring Indra back, please?" Indro. I keep saying Indra. Indro. Um, Indro. Servant runs off, returns with the prince. Um, Who's hopefully just covered in dirt. Like yeah, holding he's been it. learning how to pass things. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and she she says to him, "Indro, my dear." Have you had any contact with any Archfey recently? And he's like, I'm sorry, what? What's an Ar No, I don't think so. Um, I, I was just talking to the gardener. Is he an Archfey? And the mother thought, if you can see that, that there's an element of like, did I birth this <laughs> <I'm> child? Not... <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no, dear. She would have been powerful and probably somewhat garish um did you by any chance wish for a queen or something of that nature and he's like i don't think so i just i just met this girl and she was amazing and and now i she's she's great and like i want to marry her and i know what you think but it's it's the real thing mom she's like yes yes dear i'm, I'm sure it is <sighs> Well, it seems it didn't come from here. 
she's not trying to help her great 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 grandson. She's she she, she did. Oh, I was gonna say she did appear in disguise when he was at the in, or at the uh, tavern for some reason. She that tracks. Yeah. Could she, she be helping one of his siblings? Oh, why would one of his siblings want such a thing to occur? Oh, because Indro they... married. Sorry, if Indro married someone below his station, maybe they might stand a better chance at running the kingdom. Oh, that's not how hereditary works here. We don't, um, he would still be the king. Um, out of character, patricide, is that when you kill the king or is that when you kill your father? That's when you father. kill your father. <laughs> father. Regicide. 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 Regicide is when Regicide. you kill the king. Regicide, that's yeah. <laughs> I knew I was siding with something. <laughs> I mean, I can't see that any of his siblings would have anything to gain by making him marry a commoner who does not Just want to checking. marry him. It it seems none of them are really prone to that sort of prankery. Well, maybe Enzo, but oh, right. he's he's so young, I very much doubt that he would have <laughs> anything to do with this. Hmm. He's more no, likely to, maybe... to, to, you know, plant a bucket of water above their door or something. I wonder if maybe... This uh, fairy archfey maybe approached one of them, uh, one of your younger um, children, and they made a, fil a silly wish that their, your brother, that their brother got married, maybe or something like that. Possible. Did you talk to them? Absolutely, we could we could talk to them and 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 see what they yeah. think. Um. Um. I guess we could try and go back into town and see if we can figure out if she's if this. Uh, Archfey has interfered with anyone else. Unless you guys have a better idea. I'm saying this out loud to everybody. I think what? we probably need to speak with her. I'm just not sure how we go about doing that. Yeah. yeah. Is she... Do you think she'd be, um... Well, connected to any certain part of the, uh... A particular court, perhaps? Yeah. How do you mean? Well, just thinking, like, uh... You know how there's like uh, the the archways are quite quite often connected, like to say a certain tree or a season or blah blah blah. Let's see, um, she's stories. Her thing is stories. She likes to push stories in the direction she feels they should go. Um, she likes thing stor the stories to have a particular shape. You understand. This, honestly, right. now that you've mentioned it, smells a lot like her. What shape? You know, a narrative shape. Once you know, upon like a, a time, a book boy go. meets girl. Endings. There's sad. a certain amount yeah. of, of, oh, happy endings, sad endings. Just good endings, really. Good to who? Yes, good is very subjective. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, Whatever um, she perceives as being a good ending. Happily ever after is, can be terrifying i Do feel you? like his happily ever after will be very short when he realizes his lady love doesn't care that he exists. has no interest yes yeah so and he, he, he's still standing there he's like she what you said what i'm sorry she does not love you she, she of course she loves me how, how is that even possible her shoe uh, the shoe uh, fit her foot therefore she must love me Yali, explain to him the shoe magic. Yeah. You, want, you want me to explain magic to this this person who is a, a, you're a lovely gentleman, but I, you do not look like a um, a uh, wizard or a sorcerer. I am not those am I things. Correct. That's a little. That's going to take a while. Uh, let's just say that the shoe is unrelated to the great qualities of Emily. I don't understand. Don't worry about it. We'll figure this out for you. Right. We figured out the cheese and the plants? Yes, that is very good information. I should get back to learning how to pot plants. Yes, In, good Indra, if, I'm, if I may. Yes. Um, you mentioned earlier that you were fond of more of the martial arts. 
Yes. Perhaps we could spar a while to uh, loosen your body up, make you more comfortable for gardening. You just really want to fight this guy. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's literally, I want to get him away from people who are trying to be helpful. And Catherine knows that this shit is well outside of his area of expertise. He goes, ah, oh, are you a fighter? I and too I am will, a fighter. I am I will quite summon, proficient with a great sword. I will summon my halberd. Oh, mm -hmm. goodness. You just made that come out of nowhere. That's very good. He pulls his great sword off his... I, I mm -hmm. have to take mine off the back. My back. It lives there. It's good I don't like right. gesture. I keep, How big it is? I keep I looking, <laughs> I keep looking at look. Twitch to be like, oh, that's where I'll, I'll ping. I'm like, that's not how this works. Um, but I'm just like, I'll gesture over to where I am pinging and just be like, shall we just have a have a friendly... Absolutely. He will pop, just pop, to... pop over there and are you going to make me actually like do it? No, no, like it's okay, literally, okay. it is just to... Occupy his time. Yeah, yes. just to okay. occupy his time. He's, he's yeah. actually really good. He's like a decent fighter. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Oh, do, you have a do you have a library here? Yes, of course we do. Well, if she's about stories, that might be a good place to try and get her attention. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to use a great sword. Sorry, Chance is giving me shit about my <laughs> sword vibing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, yes, if you think so, we can we can go over there and and see if she will show herself. Hopefully. Yep. All right, they will take you over to here, where there is, in fact, a library. <clears throat> Let me show you. Lovely library. Ta-da! <clears throat> Can you see that? Yep. On the left? Yeah. So they take you over to the library. This map is not in scale, because I did not anticipate any combat happening on it. And if I made it in scale, it would be ridiculously large, but... That's fair. <coughs> yep. Alright, so, uh... Chuck, was it you who was looking into, uh... Arch... Uh, Archfey and such? Into the Fey, yes. <sighs> so, how do you say that we, uh... Well... Try and get them Wait. to come here? <laughs> Say their name, no? Just call out to them and ask them for help. My instinct would say that, but I'll, there would be a risk with that in saying what I, uh, in, in, with regards to what I've learned, there would be an inherent risk with that um, in mind, because uh, we do not w know what side of the, uh, which court she would actually side with, and whether or not that's actually what we need to do in this case. We can do it, but there would be potential risks. Um, I'm down for gambling. Anyone else got a better idea? Make a history check, Chuck. No worries. Digital dice, here we come. All right, so that's a 19. Okay. The... Um, what you do remember mm -hmm. about this particular being is that one of the easiest ways to get her attention is to make a wish. Yeah. Okay. But you might get your wish. And that could, and and she will interpret it as she sees fit. So, so take bear that in mind. <laughs> what one suggestion I'll make then to the team is: well, if if she is inclined to wishes, perhaps we just wish that we have an audience with her in in, in a neutral setting. That sounds good. Um, Who wants to freeze this wish? <laughs> um. Uh, well, I can give it a shot. Go for it. Okay. It's going to reach into her saddle bags and pull out a notebook and start trying to like just write some words out. Just be like, okay. Um, how about I da -da -da, that our group could converse with you in this library in a amicable way that, that sound good it's good working one i think you should say it i like it all right cool um <clears throat> oh wait sorry what was her name again Drilla. 
Cinderella. 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 Okay. Cinderella. <laughs> I wish that our group could speak with Cinderella in this library right now in an amicable manner. Make a persuasion check. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, you're still outside fighting with the prince, yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. He's pretty Sorry. decent. Um, I did not roll well, and I used my inspiration for that. So that was uh, only a 13. Okay. I I'm going to just roll the thing. <laughs> and you die. <laughs> <That's again. laughs> Shit. Um, there, there is a moment of silence. And then there's like this swirling whirlwind thingy that appears in the middle of the library. It's got a lot of glitter in it. An unreasonable <laughs> amount of glitter in it. Oh, uh, the, poor, the poor cleaners. <laughs> and a woman appears. She is gaudy as fuck. She is dressed like your classic fairy. She has like pink and purple butterfly wings. She has her whole dress, her whole outfit is made of like leaves and flowers and stuff. And she has this insane purple hair. Um, way too much eye, my, eye makeup on. Like, it's got that whole, like, mask thing going on. Um, and she goes, Darlings! Oh, there's a lot of you! My goodness, but you really must want to speak with me! You! And she comes up to you, Gally, and boops your nose. You're wishing for my attention. How lovely of you! What can oh. I do for you, dear? Well, um, we just thought we would, uh, first of all, be an honor to meet such a uh, wonderful person as such as yourself isn't it this, the second thing is um we believe that you have been uh, influencing the uh, young princes here uh influencing i simply nudged him in the right direction once or twice he did most of it himself you know he's not very bright Right. Yes. So, uh, our main question, I guess, would be, uh, to what end? Oh, everybody knows that the way the story goes is that the girl goes to the ball, and then she meets the prince, and then they fall madly in love and get married. Right. Okay. Um, well, She did Emily... wish to go to the ball, after all. So I figured the rest was just going to fall into place. So, yeah, that's where the issue might be. How when, she, when she said about the ball, uh, she was talking about the fact that there was a ball game happening in a field uh, later on. It's a and strange that, place for a party. Yeah, see, it's, it's more of the idea of the, a sport or an enjoyable activity played with a ball object that is kicked around and such oh so she wasn't trying to come to a ball at the palace oh how embarrassing what a pity yeah. Yeah, well so... now things are in motion so what can you do well i mean the fact is that it's just it's not going to work out too well because she's not particularly interested and do you mean she's not interested any girl would be thrilled to marry a prince not, Not all of them. One. <laughs> Marrying maybe a princess rather than a prince. Is Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah. Goodness. Well, had I known that, I would have set it up with Lydia. And you hear from the corner, Lorena, just go, <laughs> <laughs> Lydia is perfectly fine, thank you. And she turns and she goes, oh, is that little Lorena? My goodness, I haven't seen you since you were this high. Look at you, all grown up and a queen and everything. I'm so proud. She kind of dabs at her eyes, but there are no tears. <laughs> I just want to say I love this. He's a very story. wise ruler. Who... <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> he doesn't want to be a princess. Well, that's disappointing. I don't suppose yeah. there are any other eligible young ladies in the kingdom who could be persuaded to be a princess. Um, <sighs> the parents. <laughs> the, do the parents react at all to this? They, they're <laughs> both dumb. Like, Aldo has never seen a fairy godmother before. He is dumbfounded. He is still <laughs> trying to deal with the glitter situation. Like, his brain is, is, is mm. stuck on, that's a lot of glitter. 
Holy Lush shit. glitter. Um, Ooh, Lorena has glitter. that like, Jesus, this is the most embarrassing aunt relative person that I've ever encountered thing happening. Um, and she's like, this is like, wait, we don't want him to marry some random commoner that he barely knows. We want him to marry an eligible political alliance. That's, that's what we do here. And she turns and she goes, darling, that's so unromantic of you. You two married for love. And Lorena has the grace to look slightly embarrassed. And she's like, well, yes. But also, it was a political alliance. We just also happened to like each other. Something to wish for. Yeah. Why don't we find a more common ground kind of thing here in which, what if the prince got sent off to visit some of the other kingdoms and such, mingle, and then perhaps something can... Uh, happen which is a little bit more uh natural and uh mutual are you suggesting i keep my meddling nose out of it well what i'm saying is that yeah. uh for the, <laughs> for the sake of the parents why don't you try and help something which is uh more on their level so say send if we send him to uh visit Post some other dignitaries. sweet little centaur girl there's no story in that. It's not an interesting story if one of them isn't a commoner. There is a ball required. Would, we should definitely have a ball. Wouldn't it also be a great ending, though, if he married somebody and had a relationship that mirrored his parents, who are very happily married? I mean, maybe, I mean, but it's still not very interesting. Well, did she really just wish to go and watch a game on a field? Oh, yes. <sighs> yes. Very That's Cinderella, if I may. Yes. How about we add a twist to the story? <gasps> I love twists. Mm -hmm. Have the word girl, commoner girl elope the princess. Oh. Do you think <laughs> the princess would like her? I don't know. Lorena, would you want to like her? Lorena's like, I, I don't even know this girl. I have no idea if Lydia would like her or not. Yeah, but I feel like Lydia should, be, Lydia should be allowed to choose to her choose. partner as she sees fit. She is not the heir. She is not beholden to the rules in the same way. And she seems. I, I hear a great. Th I hear she's very sensible. So. She is. She's a lovely girl. Like sometimes wish she'd been our firstborn. No, okay, no, don't finish. <laughs> she has that like shit. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> how does how does the archfey react to that? To the... Yeah. Um, how does you see her kind of go, like she's thinking about it, but she can't figure out a way to make that because she she doesn't have the ability to change time. <laughs> Yeah, she's yeah. like, I suppose I could kill the first two. And Lorraine's like, no, that's not, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> if, if I know your majesties and Sonella, if, if it's something that you'd like to consider further over time with, with a little bit more, I guess, pers personal interaction and interplay, perhaps we could confirm that this is something that you would like to keep in-house. For our part, we were here to help um, the situation with regards to Indro uh, it appears that it's not something that we potentially can directly impact however if we can at least allay any concerns in regards to this matter it might allow us all to sort out an issue for the Summer Queen As Sorry, did you say the Summer Queen? He did I did yeah, we were kind of sent by uh, the Summer Queen to make you sure... sent by the Summer Queen to deal with little old me. Oh, I'm so honoured. Goodness. We weren't, we weren't she barely noticed me back when she was powerful. And, but we weren't necessarily here to interrupt, just investigate. Hmm. So, yes. Um, basically, obviously I'm not much of a uh, matchmaker, but... Um, <laughs> I would recommend that um, we work on something which is a bit more uh, in line with everyone's tastes. We can get, say, a ball going 
here, we can invite all the people from the neighboring kingdoms. Now something a bit more interesting going on than, say, a random girl just walking up and then that's it. <laughs> well, I would certainly be amenable to that. What about you? And Lorena's like, I mean, yes, it is traditional. We would invite the princesses from the neighboring kingdoms and Indro would, you know, we'd see if there's some sort of chemistry. And, the and... worst episode of The Bachelor ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'd like, and I would be invited, of course, since I'm family, yes? And Lorena's like, yes, we would absolutely invite family. But I'm going to ask you to please release Indro of whatever it is you've done to him. So that this poor girl can get on with her life without being inundated with, I gather, pot plants and cheese. <laughs> that would be the case, yes. He's, good, he's looking for some gardening. Fine. I mean, he's a I'll hobby. have a chat with him and, and, and remove the suggestion. It was just the tiniest suggestion, though. It took hardly anything. And off he went. It was amazing. Low he's wisdom saves then. Okay, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, one. Very Think well. About how easily you could get him in the ball when it comes. I could what, sorry? I said, think about how fun it will be to guide him through the ball with all oh, those I princesses there. I will choose the least likely, the biggest ugly duckling out of all of them. Um, It'll be no doubt. so You'll delicious. Hopefully she's a very wise and smart duckling as well. Yes, that's a good story. Goodness me, he is not going to be with the brains behind the throne, let's be honest. <laughs> how is a duckling suitable for a throne? Uh, I'll tell you that story later. It's a, it's, it's a classic one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a saying. The it's, kingdoms she, are big. She kind of waves a hand, and Catherine's outside. You watch something happen behind the prince's eyes, and he's like, Why am I covered in dirt? <laughs> you were gardening. Why was I gardening? For Emily, your one true love. <laughs> Oh, she was nice. Not entirely suitable for the throne, though, unfortunately. Oh, thank the gods. And I dismiss my whip. I just walk away from it. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, right, well, I suppose uh, that is this wish fulfilled. Thank you very much. Yeah. Please do tell Titi that I would love to see her again sometime. Oh, I'm sure she would love to hear. Send my regards. We will send your still, like, regards. Hold up in hiding somewhere. Yes. I. <laughs> oh. I don't think we are able to disclose such information. <laughs> well, let us say that you may know better than us in that respect. I see. Well, I hope she beats the crap out of that terrible, obnoxious husband of hers. He's so boring. Right. Has no, no sense of fun at all. All that right, well, it's been a cool. delight to meet you all. Have a beautiful day. And she, like, does this little <laughs> Wonder Woman twirl. Glitter flies everywhere. I need you all to make a deck save. <laughs> this is for death. I'm going to use my DM inspiration to re-roll that. Have I, uh, have I come in? Just in time for. Oh, let's say yes, because I want to 18. cover you in glitter too. 18. Have I oh, I'm, I'm definitely using the, uh, uh, the inspiration. I'm using, uh, I'm using the, the DT is ridiculously well. high because it's glitter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, All right, 25 with the uh, um, inspiration. 20. How do, feel, how do you feel about 11? Okay, so Chuck manages to dodge the glitter. Someone said 20. Who said 20? 20. Right, you also managed to dodge the glitter. Everyone else, you get covered in glitter. You are going to find glitter on your body for the next... Two weeks. Awesome. <laughs> I, uh, oh, goodness. I, the best use of inspiration ever. I rolled a four, which is a four. So oh. I, I, I just stood there and... Yep. <laughs> yep. Glitter everywhere. Yeah. And it all yeah. subsides, and she is gone, and Lorena kind of breathes a sigh of relief, and she goes, Well, I think that's that dealt with. I suppose we're having a ball. 
I mean, it's we didn't say than the 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 ball was going to be It is. You, 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 I am very grateful that you all have managed to get to the bottom of this. Please do tell our queen that she may rely on House Baraka for support. Of course. Such as we are. Thank we are you. but a small kingdom, but... And Important course, enough for her to send us. And of course, we'll let her know about the ball coming up and whether or not she's willing to send someone over. Of course, we would love an emissary from the Summer Queen. Mm. I'm sure well, she's far too busy to attend herself. Which is polite nobleman for saying, please don't tell her to come because we don't have that kind of entertainment <laughs> planned. <laughs> that's that's above our level. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I need to get all this of glitter course. out of my joints before my they lock up. So, um, <laughs> we'll bet you a good day. <laughs> Excellent. Again, we are so grateful. You have done us a great service here today. And I'm sure Emily will be grateful too, by the sounds of things. Well, we're glad it worked out for everybody and everyone is, yes, it's thank you for uh, being so kind and gracious. Hmm. Indeed. Of course. You are very welcome. Right? You have no further need of us, your majesties? I don't believe so, no. Then we're out. We will uh, take our leave then, if that's all right. Yes, thank you. Of course. She Have a good day. Walks you out of the library to the gate, mm. not knowing that you can bamf. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's just polite to bamf outside of the building. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Once we talk the when king we and bamf, queen are out of your shot. We'll stay here. What's that? That's our go. Please tell me when we bamf back that this glitter will stay here. <laughs> Just looking thoroughly. <laughs> I'm afraid not. But uh, the I'm going to have to swim with my armor on. Given where it's come from, probably not. Yes. <laughs> no one's also going to be like, once they're at King Queen Ari, you should, I still think the Princess Twist was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you yeah, like well, to, I certainly um, want to make things interesting. As we move towards uh, a, uh, a further part from the um, uh, palace. Uh, who would like to uh, say the word? Um, I think you know, Carol should have the honor given the twin. Sorry, she yes. the honor given. She's new. Does Quinn know the word? <laughs> it's it is the queen. Sorry, the of reflex go. Uh, Balactrix did not realizing what he's. <laughs> so, so you said it to tell Quinn, but woof, you're immediately back, back to the throne room. And, and since you're back, he's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're back. That, that was a very expeditious. Gosh, you're all so sparkly. Yeah. Did you, just party? Did you go to a rave or something? She knows about raves. Oh, she knows really. about <laughs> kind of. There, a very pleasant place. You have I believe, great allies. I believe we met a, 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 yeah, a cousin of yours, friend, and ally, Cinderella. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> that she makes a lot of sense got, now that you she say somehow that. got glitter behind my eyeballs. <laughs> yes, she, she has that effect on people. I really hope it's ah. biodegradable. So, she was behind this whole fiasco, was she? It appears so. That Trying to make makes a, story. a lot of sense. Yes, she does that. She's very fond of stories, but she has her own ideas of how they should go and often doesn't bother to um, find out how the people involved feel about it before she just barrels on in and does her thing. Which Your Majesty, she had a message right? for you. Oh, yes. yes, what was her message? And I quote, Please send Titi my regards. Oh. End message. I can count on one hand the number of people I don't mind calling me that, and none <laughs> of them are her. Right. There's also yeah. um, the king and queen will be having a ball in oh, the near future. Oh, nice. I, I, were we invited? Yeah, they were, for yes, an emissary, yeah. yes. Ah, good. Because I... I they uh, were very... I, I would be obliged to go if she had specifically asked for me, but if she asked for an emissary, no. then I can send someone. Maybe Elena. Elena enjoys a good party from time to time. She mm. specifically said emissary. I, I believe she you know, didn't want to... She wanna... is very good at what she does. She is. She is. They were very good at what they do. It may 
also be useful to contact Cinderella later on. Uh, she didn't seem overly fond of... What I So I don't believe I've ever heard right. anyone refer to Oberon. No, in, probably like, not. In, in any people, capacity. People avoid using the name, yeah. But it's like, would I have heard, like, the autumn <laughs> fuck something? Yeah. Or... Yep. You would oh, probably have heard one of and those. Insert yeah, names and insert names and get me in the list Token of the Lord. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that doesn't surprise me. Cinderella was always prone to chaos. Her and Artagon would get on very well. I don't believe they've ever ever met, and I would rather like to keep it that way, because, oh my goodness, I don't think the world is ready for that. Um, but she does not <laughs> like my husband. She's not overly fond of me either, but she likes me slightly more than him, I think. At least that's where she has traditionally stood. She still stands there, then. I am more tolerant of her nonsense. We, we hope at least we have interceded without um, inadvertently creating a uh, issue with uh, certain um, Archfey uh, designs. Well, was she upset by whatever solution you offered? She did not appear to be. Well, then I think nope. we're good. She's a fickle mistress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she just seemed more like she was there to have some fun rather than Indeed. do anything yes, of particular is importance. Usually, she doesn't She's really sitting around to fool around and find out, kind of lady. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. There's, there's not good and bad. There's just fun and boring. <laughs> <laughs> That, that seems very accurate to our interaction. Mm. But I everyone was happy with the way. results. No yeah. one had to die, and everyone ended up more or less happy with the situation. Ooh, including, that? And and you interacted with an archfey known for her chaotic approach to things and walked away more or less intact, if somewhat sparklier than usual. I managed to Although we it. might want to warn that emissary that attends that ball that pretty sure... Uh, that Archfey is going to be there, so that could be something we might want to keep an eye on. I will send someone with the appropriate skills. Excellent. If my lady has nothing else, I would like to take a very hot bath <laughs> and try and burn this glitter out of my body. I wish you luck with that. It's just like the look on your face, Catherine's is like, oh. <laughs> like, oh no. This is gonna take a while. Quinn is it's smiling magic and constructing herself. She's you enjoying the glitter. Oh, You're very through. sparkly. It suits your aesthetic, it doesn't suit Catherine's aesthetic so much. <laughs> Mod is picking at his scales, like trying to get the glitter out from under them. <laughs> it's going to take forever. That's amazing. You're telling me how much maintenance we have to do. Glitter go, yeah. <laughs> Chap looks and says, um, I think I'm going to be able to find you well uh, over the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, you have done good work. As always, you will be rewarded appropriately. Um, good job, Glitter Crew. Go forth. <laughs> it's forth to be known, and <laughs> yeah. Glitter Ball. The go GCs. Celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Glitter Crew sticker. That needs no. to happen. Um, <laughs> oh dear. All right. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. Incidentally, Zook and Gur would be there because they're there yeah. at the end of every mission. So Catherus would have spotted him. Um, mm. I will then, as I spot Zook, I will snap to attention and give him a, a very formal salute. He is probably confused because he has no idea who you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we can uh, we can discord that. Yeah. Yep, Later. you guys can figure that out. All right. So you all leave the throne room? Yep. Yes. You leave the throne room, leaving a trail of glitter behind you um, after a very successful mission solving this crazy puzzle. Um, and I got to drop some story juice, <laughs> which I've been hanging on to for a while. So that's <laughs> yes. exciting. Nice. Um, I just watched the chat go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um. All right. Well, thank you, lovely people, for playing this rather weird game with me. I wanted to experiment a little bit with a diff slightly different format just to shake things up and keep it interesting. Yeah, it um, so I hope you enjoyed it. 
And everyone watching, thank you for watching um, and being part of this craziness that we do every week. Uh, we do not have a game tomorrow, but next week we have the second SEAL mission, Chaos and Ruin. Uh, it will be on the Saturday, which is going to be a doozy. And then on Sunday, we'll be doing our Birds of a Feather Druids game. Um, so join us for those. Uh, and we will see you then. Have a beautiful time zone.